Last one of our own, Ricardo Torres, who was doing the job that he always dreamed of doing. Tonight, our entire state mourning the loss of a New Haven firefighter who died today in the line of duty. 30 year old Ricardo Torres was dedicated to his brothers and sisters at the fire department, plus his family, a wife, a son and another baby on the way. Just absolutely tragic and another firefighter was critically injured and is fighting for his life in the hospital. We have live team coverage to learn more about this tragic fire and the investigation. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief is live at the scene on Valley Street. And Channel 3 Shante Passmore is at the fire station with a message from his wife and Matthew Campbell is at Bridgeport Hospital. But we start right now with Matt McFarlane. Oh, Mark, Aaron, Valley Street behind me, it's been closed all day. Investigators out here, they expect to be out here through the night. They've brought in lights to help them continue to work. Now, New Haven's fire chief says firefighters and their families live with the risk, knowing every day they could get injured or even worse. And today, that grim reality is gripping a fire department and an entire city dealing with this tragic loss. We're all family. And we're hurting. From the fire scene on Valley Street to fire headquarters, there were plenty of hugs for New Haven's bravest. A shoulder to lean on while mourning the loss of a brother, firefighter Ricardo Torres, who made the ultimate sacrifice this morning. Today we lost one of our own, Ricardo Torres, who was doing the job that he always dreamed of doing. Crews were called to this multifamily house just before one. The eyewitness video showing heavy smoke the firefighters encountered. Crews rushed inside, rescuing two people who were trapped. But that's when Torres got on his radio with a mayday call after becoming lost and disoriented. They pulled a woman out on a stretcher, and then um, behind her, there was a firefighter, and unfortunately, they were working on him um, as he was coming out, and they put him in an ambulance. A rescue team grabbed Torres and Lieutenant Samad Rankins. Torres succumbed to his injuries at Yale New Haven Hospital. Rankins is in critical condition in the burn unit at Bridgeport Hospital. This is going to be rough. It's not going to be easy, and I think we all have to be prepared to do the things that these firefighters do every day. Be brave, support people. Something New Haven's fire chief says his men and women desperately need right now. It is with a heavy heart that we uh, extend our condolences to the Torres family and our prayers and support to the Rankins family, but also to the members of the New Haven Fire Department who are facing one of the worst days of their life. I ask your continued prayers and thoughts with them. Now, the chief says this is going to be a lengthy investigation. He says there's heavy damage to this house, but also since this is a line of duty death, the state police fire marshal's office, they are investigating along with the New Haven state's attorney's office as well. We're live with the mobile newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.